Hey, my name is Amber Haskins. I'm a pastor's wife. My husband, Andy Haskins, is the pastor at Baloo's Chapel in Northeast Arkansas in the great town of Grubbs, population 299. I am a mom of four rambunctious boys, which I love. I am a homeschooler. I teach at co-op. I lead worship at our church. I just got a lot of things on my plate and the Lord has been laying something on my heart that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this is something that I have struggled with all my life and it's hard for me to admit that. But I think that a lot of us struggle with this and I just want to give you some encouragement today and encouragement from God's Word about this. So what I'd like to talk to you about is spending time with God on a daily basis, reading God's Word and praying on a regular basis every day. I know that we all have these different things that come into play when it comes to reading the Bible and studying God's Word. So why do a lot of us seem to struggle with reading the Bible on a regular basis. I think one thing um, in today's society especially is busyness. We all have something to do just about every single day of the week and we're running here and there and by the time that we get home from running all these errands we are so tired and worn out that we just want to go to bed or just want to chill and when we do open the Word of God we fall asleep. Another thing is boredom. I have heard this from a lot of fellow Christians. They get bored um, and I feel that we have a lot of things out there. We live in an entertainment business era. Everything is bright and fun and we have everything at our fingertips in just the snap of a finger pretty much. Whereas when we sit with God and read His Word and be still, it's hard for our minds to focus. So that's another struggle that a lot of people seem to have. Um, a third thing is lack of understanding. I know sometimes when I read the Bible, it is so confusing to me and I just don't understand it. So. I'm more likely to skip over that part and go to something else that I would rather read. So let's see what God's Word has to say about reading the Bible. Psalm 119.11 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. This verse says that we need to hide God's Word in our heart so that we can live a holy life. And that we can keep from sinning against him. Now it's not that we're perfect, but when we hide God's word in our hearts, it helps us to remember things from God's word that may help us to apply it to our life. Maybe we're struggling with a particular thing and when we have God's word hidden in our hearts, then we can bring that back to memory and say, okay, God, thank you. I know how to apply this to my life. Psalm 119, 97 says, Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. When we create a habit of reading God's word, then we cultivate this desire to spend more time with him and to fall in love with the word of God. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2 says, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. A failure to desire or receive the milk of the word is the reason for a lot of problems that we see in Christianity today. Christians are not growing in their relationship with the Lord. They're not growing in their faith because they are not cultivating this practice of reading and studying God's Word on a regular basis. Here are three more verses I would like to share with you. 
Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, the joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 says, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 says, Let the word of God dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing songs and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God, that's something that I love to do, and that's something that helps me to remember Scripture, is I love singing the Scriptures, especially the Psalms. We have a lot of songs that we sing in our church, and we are singing Scripture. But I love that because it helps bring it to mind. So now that we've read some verses about how the Word of God benefits us, I want to share with you some ways that may help you in studying God's Word on a more regular basis. First thing is pray and ask God for help. He is the ultimate source of all things that we need, and He is ready and willing to help us if we'll just ask Him. So pray and say, God, please give me a desire for Your Word. Help me to focus when I'm reading Your Word, Lord and speak to me today through your word. Second thing is have a set time and place. I study in my husband's office. It's quiet there. I have all of my things together, all my highlighters, my pens, um, so that if I'm thinking of something, I can write it down and everything is all there so that I don't have to get up and go grab it and then get distracted while I'm away from the desk and I end up not coming back to reading God's Word. So have all your things together and set a time and a place for you to do that. Think of this as your appointment time with God. When you make an appointment to go to the doctor or make a hair appointment or a nail appointment, you keep that appointment and you don't miss it. So why do we miss our appointment times with God? Another thing, and this is, this is something I love to do and it has really helped me, is make studying God's Word fun. I have all kinds of colorful pens and highlighters and sticky notes and I've seen where some people will get scrapbook paper and they'll write out everything that God has been speaking to them about and they will glue it inside their Bible. I've been reading through uh, Matthew chapter 6 currently and I just love highlighting and drawing and writing in my Bible. I also have a journal that I keep and uh, I write out my prayers, I write out my thoughts in this, and you could just have like a different color pen every day and um, making it fun and enjoyable. There's nothing wrong with highlighting God's Word and taking notes. If it keeps you in God's Word, then it's totally worth it. Another thing is get an accountability partner. You could just say, you know, hey, so-and-so, I really, need somebody to help keep me on track or to remind me and encourage me to stay in God's Word. Can you check in with me once a week or once every two weeks or once a month and just share with each other what God has been laying on your heart and what you've been studying? And then lastly, I want to share with you some benefits of reading God's word on a regular basis. You grow in your faith. When you're constantly in God's word, it just gives you so much encouragement to face daily struggles. And I know there have been so many times in my life, and I'm sure you could all share stories about how you've read scripture and then that same day or within the same week, something has come up and those scriptures 
you were able to use to minister to somebody else or they ministered to you. So it's beneficial growing in your faith. I just love to see how God works like that and it helps me grow in my faith for sure. You're learning God's truths. Our world is filled with so many lies and it can get confusing as to what's right and what's wrong but when we have God's Word to stand on we know what the truth is. Learning who God is. If we're not in God's Word on a regular basis and praying then God can't speak to us and we don't know what His plans are for our life. So learning who God is is such a great benefit of reading God's Word and praying on a regular basis. Finding hope in difficult times. I could tell you countless stories of people who have gone through extremely hard times and they have been able to lean on God's Word when they didn't think that they could make it. And God's Word is what helped make it through those situations. Being challenged to change and grow. You know, we can look at God's Word and see that maybe there's something in our lives that we need to change and make better. This is just a few of my thoughts and if you have um, a specific way that you study your Bible or something that you'd like to add, you know, put something down in the comments and share so we can all encourage one another. I pray that this blesses you today and that you received encouragement from this. God bless.